means nine uh, uh, 1950 million people are suffering from myopia worldwide and high myopia that is for uh, myopia which is greater than uh, six diopter or equivalent to spherical equivalent to six diopter they are suffering from uh, about 227 millions are suffering from uh, high myopia and in near future uh, glo in near future myopia is predicted to increase to 49.8 percent that is uh, 4758 million people will be suffering from myopia by the end of 2050 within this 30 years from 2020 to 2050 that means 50% of the total population will have myopia they will be dealing with myopia they will be using some kind of prosthetic uh, hello come on are you there Sorry. Okay. Are you listening? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay. And global prevalence, uh, we can see here. Uh, this, uh, this in two thousand, uh, total number of population was total number of population who were suffering from uh, myopia, simple myopia is about 1.5 billion this is billion this is billion and this is years okay and in 2000 uh, 2000 1.5 uh 1.5 billion population are dealing with we're dealing with my pay and this graph increases as the year increases and by the end of 2050 about uh about i could not get this about uh, uh this five billion people will be suffering from uh this uh myopia and this uh, below chart shows the uh prevalence of my high myopia and let's talk about pathophysiology and mechanism of myopia uh, we all know emetropoiesis emetropoiesis is the active regulatory means counterbalancing process counterbalancing process that harmonize that control the expansion of eye with the optical power of cornea and the crystalline lens that means uh, with the uh, with the balance of this expansion of I, that means axial length elongation and uh, and the curvature of cornea and crystalline lens counterbalancing uh, this emetropoiesis and how it works i will be discussing on this on this coming further uh, slides okay any disruptions to highly coordinated Any disruptions to highly coordinated ocular changes result in the development of refractive error. If there is any disturbance in the axial length plus curvature of cornea or curvature of lens, there occurs uh, this uh, the development of refractive error. Refractive error occurs as a result of either change in the axial length with respect to total refractive power of eye. If the total refractive power of I, if we assume the total refractive power of I, that means if the curvature of cornea as well as the curvature of lens, they are, uh, they remain still, they are unchanged. And if there is only increase in the axial length in that condition, there occurs axial type of myopia, or we can say axial type of hypermetropia. In second case, if it can cause by the change in the refractive power of cornea and the crystalline lens with respect to the axial length of eye. If the axial length of eye does not increases, but 
if only the curvature of cornea if only the curvature of uh, crystalline lens gets changes then in that condition there occurs the refractive type of uh, myopia or we can say that refractive type of hypermetropia will be coming on this further slides okay and emetropization is really uh, largely completed in five to six years of age within this five to six years of age there occurs uh, believed to be occurs uh, the emetropization yeah from two to three years of age axial elongation slows to approximately 0 0.4 mm per year until the preschool that means in toddlers and in preschools uh, between this between these ages the rate of progression of myopia it is normal yeah normal rate of progression of myopia yeah it uh, changes it uh, uh, occurs from 0 0.4 mm that means uh, around 1.4 diopter per year and only increases by 1 to 1 1.5 mm throughout the teenagers and after the age of uh, uh, 13 uh, to late teen, that means 19, this uh, the change in the axial length is not more than 1 to 1 1.5 mm. That means about 3 to uh, about 3 to 4 diopter changes occur due to the change in axial length. For emetropization, axial length has major contributory role than cornea and crystalline lens. That means axial length is one of the important factor, one of the important factor for uh, progression of myopia, onset of myopia, myopia. And this cornea and crystalline lens, they have less role in myopia progression. Sorry, okay. Mm -hmm. Various studies suggest that the mechanism for emetropization and refractive error development are due to visual dependent changes in ocular growth, which is either due to degraded, man, that means poor quality of image formed on retina, which is also called form deprivation. And another one is alteration in the focal point of image with respect to retina, that means lens induced defocus i will be discussing this on coming classes mm -hmm. now what do you mean by form deprivation myopia what do you mean by form deprivation myopia that means form deprivation type of myopia it is actually a axial type of myopia it is a axial type of myopia which is developed due to depriving that means depriving the retina of form that means there is a poor quality of image in on the retina or the pattern vision through the lead suture or constra constant translucent diffuser if the quality of image if the quality of image on the retina that means there is no change in the focal point of the uh, uh, system there is only change in the quality of image of that uh, image of that object which falls on the retina it is degraded that means quality become less it can be either due to any sorts of translucent media or any sorts of changes in this uh, optical path yeah that means either macular or nebular opacities either opacities is here either hemorrhages on the vitreous or either any form of this uh, uh, that means uh, what we can say that lens uh, cataract or the, this type of that means it causes the deprivation of form and this type which causes look everything are same which causes increasing axial length 
that means this form deprivation is one of the important uh, factors which cause which gives the visual feedback to the eye and which cause this increase in the axial length of this eye myopia develops as a result of uncoordinated ocular growth due to reduced image contrast and and the absence of visual feedback related to the effective refractive uh, state of eye due to this poor image here we can see here uh, this is a trial uh, this is a trial module and in this module eye one translucent media is kept in front of this eye and this is an object due to this translucent uh, media this uh, the of the image of this object is blur it has poor quality of image on the surface of this retina due to this cause due to this cause and there is no uh, visual feedback mechanism uh, our eyes uh, it grows in size which causes the elongation of eyeball and this is the one one factor for the progression of myopia form deprivation myopia is a graded phenomena it occurs step by step isn't it this form deprivation type of myopia it does not occur all of a sudden it has uh, it, it occurs step by step yeah where increasing degree of image degradation are positively correlated with the magnitude of induced axial myopia what does this mean this means that more the image more the quality of image is poor here on retina more will be the elongation of our eye more will be more there will be the increase in the axial length if uh, the quality of image is uh, poorer then mm, poorer then it causes uh, increase uh, in the uh, increase in the axial length of eye in uh, i have uh, some many i have seen many uh, research article uh, about this and what i have found that person having uh, uh, that means the person having uh, uh, that means corneal opacities is yeah vitreous opacities is, they have uh, larger larger axial length as compared to the normal people and which suggests that this form deprivation is another type of is is also a contributory factor for my idea progression uh, are you listening to me no it is audible you can continue uh, are you listening okay yes, thank yes, you yes yes it is audible yes, yes. I, and what do you mean by lens defocus emetropia lens defocus actually i want to mean that lens defocus myopia isn't it that means lens defocus it is also a type of axial type of myopia yeah axial type of myopia and here what happens myopic defocus first of all we create a myopic defocus isn't it in this picture we can see here uh, we create a myopic defocus sorry sorry i um, we create a hyperopic defocus hyperopic defocus isn't it uh, a thickening of choroid uh, myopic defocus with plus lens uh, stimulates the artificial myopia that leads to a thickening of choroid that means moving the retina forward and a reduction in overall growth of eye thus causing a hyperopic refractive error isn't it that means uh, we create we use this uh, plus lens and it causes myopic defocus and due to this myopic defocus uh, the lens the lens it moves here the lens this uh, uh, the choroid or the eyeball growth decreases isn't it studies have shown that the biological mechanism underlying the alteration in ocular growth to myopia and a hyperopia defocus maybe 
completely dif different to each other and the visual system is more sensitive to myopic defocus. What does this mean? This means that uh, myopic and hyperopic defocus and uh, they are completely uh, they are completely what to say they are completely uh, interdependent they are not dependent to each other they are independent the mechanism for myopic defocus and mechanism for hyperopic defocus they are not related to one another and among them among them among myopic defocus and hyperopic defocus myopic def myopic defocus is more sensitive to the visual system that means we respond more to the myopic defocus and which is which which is very uh, contributory factor for myopia control myopia progression control and myopia etiology what is the cause of myopia why myopia cause i'll be talking about this actually it is etiologically heterogeneous. There is no any reason, there is no uh, concrete uh, reason for the origin of myopia, isn't it? And far now, uh, environmental factors have a major role to play in development of myopia. A lot of studies have shown that this environmental factor is a major role for the development of myopia. Hereditary and genetics are also found to be associated with myopia development. Okay, and what are the influential factor for myopia or high risk for myopia? Is it is found that uh, uh, most of the preschool and school children are affected are affected with this myopia. Gender, and it is found that uh, 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 that means uh, um, it is gender yeah, yeah in this uh uh in this type that means uh that means uh a boy with is five to six years they are uh, they have more myopia than girl and and the girls uh, from six to fourteen just listen carefully the girls from six to fourteen they have more they are uh, the prevalence of myopia is more in those age group then it is so uh, it is not clear that why uh, why is the reason for that but most of the re study have suggests that uh, the girls uh, from uh, 14 years and below that 14 years to 6 years they have more chance of more number of Myopia. Genetic factor, it is another important role. Ethnicity, that means most of the Mongolians, they are suffering from uh, East Asian population. They are, uh, they have more number of myopia. Environment and work related, that means the person who use, uh, who uh, use, who, uh, who uses, uh, that means digital devices or uh, near screen works, they have more chance of myopia. And environment that means near environment diet and it is another interesting factor uh, what uh, results have shown that the people who are uh, vegetarian they have more uh, chance of developing myopia that means the person who eat less protein calcium uh, that means vitamins and cholesterol the number of myopia uh, that means the chance of development of myopia will be high personality and in this here the person at the person who has high iq who are introvert and 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 uh, that means uh, uh, who is uh, that means uh, who, who we study a lot they have uh, more chance of developing myopia and systemic conditions that different diseases like uh, we can say that down syndrome uh, that uh, that types of many there are many systemic diseases they have more chance of developing myopia and there are different ocular diseases which has more chance of developing myopia 
Progression of childhood myopia. Once the myopia appears in childhood, it increases until the mid or late teens. That means if the child has uh, myopia, if the myopia is seen on a children of five years old or six years old, then it will be continue to 14 years or 16 to 19 years. That means, and the rate of myopia progression varies considerably from one child to another. It is not, it is different for different child. And uh, a research done by Comet in uh, 426 participant, the mean age of myopia stabilization was 15.16 years. That means at this age, 15.61 years of age. That means uh, uh, it is found that myopia is myopia stabilized at this age, at the age of 15. And now I have talked about what are the causes, what are the risk factor, uh, what is, uh, what are the environmental factor for myopia uh, onset. Now I will be talking about how can we reduce or how can we prevent the uh, myopia progression, especially physiological myopia. I am not going to talk about pathological myopia, which is a different. I am going to talk about physiological myopia, okay, not pathological myopia. Now there are different approaches we can uh, we can adopt for the management of myopia or for the onset of myopia, and I have categorized them on four different groups. First one I have divided in environmental factors. How can we change environment and how can environment affect the myopia progression and its delay? Optical factors I will be talking about. How spectacles correct my myopia progression? I'll be talking about how contact lenses stops or prevent the progression of myopia, and I'll be talking about some pharmacological agents, anti-muscarinic agents like atropine and pyrazepine, how they are used for myopia progression control, and last but uh, this uh, traditional Chinese innervation, which is not so scientific but i will be talking about this traditional chinese innovations for controlling myopia now let's talk about this environmental factors how can we control myopia with these environmental factors there are two subtypes isn't it i have divided into for the two types uh, first one is time spent outside how can we uh, decrease the myopia progression by uh, spending the most of the time on the outside and and how can we uh, decrease the myopia uh, by doing less near works and focusing on uh, outdoors and that means spending a lot of time outdoors isn't it now let's begin environmental consideration isn't it time is spent outdoors why why uh, why the time is spent outdoors is uh, very important factors for the controlling myopia progression. Let's discuss. Okay, it is not a concrete. Uh, it is not a concrete finding, but some research researchers has uh, uh, suggested that potential reason why the time indoors may be protective includes due to higher light intensities of outside, different in chromatic composition of outdoors light. And the reduction in the dioptric accommodative focus. Uh, and the psychometric influences encountered outdoors. Okay. Highlight incident. Uh, now, why the highlight intensities uh, decrease the progression of my IPA? Let's talk about this. Highlight intensities increase the retinal dopamine production. That, that means in our retina, retina is a part of central nervous system. So that it is believed that this high light intensities is, it increases the retinal dopamine production. And this dopamine, which is believed to decrease the axial length elongation. This was uh, suggested by one uh, researcher. Yeah? 
in animal studies higher light level greatly decrease the form deprivation myopia that means the nice that means uh, the form on the retina will be uh, uh, that means what to say uh, more clearer more sharper than the uh, inside yeah uh, 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 reaction which is abolished by dopamine antagonistic and the role of chromaticity that means uh, outside it has red and blue light and ultraviolet light which is still but uh, it is believed that the chromaticity is the another reason for controlling myopia uh, myopia but what is the reason behind that is still uncertain and it is also believed that in outside uh, vitamin d levels also helps to decrease the change in uh, myopia progression now now one one study which was done by rudnika et al on in 2016 they found that the children uh, living in predominantly urban environment in cities have 2.6 times the risk of myopia compared to the children living in rural environment and what might be the reason for this the people who are living in uh, urban area they have high chance of myopia it can be due to more congested environment greater emphasis on education more near work and fewer outdoor activities this might be the reason for the people who are living in urban in urban urban areas have high number of myopia and this is also in one study which i have um, taken from uh, one research that means in a study involving 863 australian children who were myopic and only spend an average 16.3 hour outdoors compared to the non myopic eye who spend 21.0 hours outdoor per week that means the uh, the child who spend less hour outdoors have uh, more myopia were found to have more our find to have more myopic than the children who spend uh, less hour outdoor okay uh, okay now let's talk about near work why the near work might be uh, the another risk factor for developing myopia hello kapil bhai hello kapil sir uh, yes 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 come on uh, are you is my voice clear yes yes it's audible okay thank you you can continue okay thank you thank you so much now let's talk about near work why near work is uh, another factor for the progression of myopia yeah, isn't it let's talk about it the theory of hyperopic defocus hyperopic defocus means uh, uh, that means the that means the image of an object it falls beyond that means hyperopic defocus means the uh, image of the image here it is beyond the retina the image of this object falls beyond the retina and this is called hyperopic defocus okay if the image fall from uh, beyond the retina it is called hyperopic defocus that means the theory of hyperopic defocus from a uh, former deficient from a deficient deficient means lack of accommodative response in juvenile myopia juvenile myopia means uh, onset uh, new onset myopia is considered to be the associate between the near work in human myopia that means uh, uh, we can see here in this photograph that means uh, in photograph a a person that means a person is uh, that means if a person is reading a near work Uh, there occurs an accommodation and which allows the sharp image that means focused image on retina and if the uh, after a prolonged reading what happens accommodate uh, that means uh, there uh, there occurs there there 
there occurs that means uh, accumulative fatigue that means if it occurs then what happens that means this causes the hyperopic defocus that means this lens will not be able to focus this image on the retina and which causes hyperopic defocus and this hyperopic defocus hyperopic defocus that means here occurs blur image it will be the stimulus for the elongation of this eye this hyper uh, i want to repeat again this hyperopic defocus it will be the stimulus for axial length elongation did you got my point and several studies have shown a link between increased near vision activities and myopia in singapore a study performed more than uh, 20.5 hours a reading that means week in a week 20 hours of reading in a week and writing a week was found to be positively associated with myopia that means the person who perform near works more than 20.5 hours per week that means we can say that more than three hours more than three hours a week they have some sorts of my peer development and now we have uh, spectacle and contact lenses for my peer. how can we uh, how can we, how can spectacles and contact lenses they decreases the progression of my pain? Let's talk about that. Okay. Bifocal or multifocal spectacle. The most investigated form of myopia control is bifocal or multi multifocal spectacles. Similar to under correction of myopic refractive error, multifocal spectacles are thought to reduce accommodative effort now accommodative effort or error to slow the progression of myopia mm, that means uh, here that means how multifocal spectacle they control the progression of myopia this multifocal spectacles what they do actually is they reduce uh, they decreases the Accommodative that means hyperopic defocus will perform a near works. That might be the reason for the uh, less progression of myopia or slow progression of myopia by the use of multifocal, multifocal spectacles, isn't it? That's why uh, most of the uh, practitioners they they used to uh, prescribe multifocal spectacles uh, for a ch child. For the control of my peer progression and the study the studies with my, uh, progressive additional lenses showed uh, small and clinically insignificant or no effect on my peer progression but here what happens here the study done on uh, 2014 by uh, uh, Hasiv, Hasiv S at all what they found that this uh, pal has very small and which is clinically insignificant role for the myopia progression control what might be the reason it is possible that the uh, it this might be due to the peripheral defocus and now let's talk about the peripheral myopic defocus glasses uh, from animal studies, it is known that eyeball growth, that is, it can be hyperopia or it can be myopia. That means it can be the decrease in the uh, axial length or it can be increased in the axial length, could be induced by using positive and negative lenses respectively. This study also showed that the peripheral refraction could be influence the eye growth independent of the central vision and most of the research uh, they found that uh, uh, that means uh, our peripheral vision 
that means not central vision not macular vision i'm not talking about macular vision i'm talking about uh, uh, that means uh, visual acuity uh, that means visual acuity uh, at at or above uh, that means uh, above that 15 degree of 15 degree from the central visual acuity that means peripheral uh, peri i'm talking about the peripheral vision that means peripheral vision uh, that means they have uh, found that uh, the peripheral uh, ref that means okay and excessive uh, near work hello uh, hello commerce is there any problem Azure? is there any problem no 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 just uh, just okay. my net was uh, if you need a rest or if you any uh, guys you have questions uh, you can uh, inbox in uh, chat box uh, so yeah. we can discuss uh, and again continue the presentation so okay. uh, please proceed and will we discuss uh, further if uh, anyone have queries okay okay i think in the peripheral retina and promote eye growth the increased prolate growth of myopic eyeball and use of spherical glasses correction for central vision may aggravate this effect peripheral myopic defocus glasses we can use peripheral myopic defocus glasses for uh, to eliminate those uh, peripheral defocus excessive near work could induce hyperopic defocus in the peripheral retina and promote eye growth the increased prolate growth of the myopic eyeball and the use of spherical glasses correction for the central vision may have this repeated okay no problem and now i'll be talking about how the peripheral myopic defocus glasses decrease the myopic progression we can see in this first picture this is normal glasses isn't it it is a uh, single vision glasses and i have taken this jice my vision glasses that means which decreases the which decreases the uh hyperopic defocus now let's go for this what what normal this normal glasses have central clear vision but peripheral hyperopic defocus uh, blur vision again listen carefully our normal glasses they have central clear vision but peripheral defocus hyperopic blur vision and this peripheral defocus hyperopic blur vision it can be the stimulating factor for myopia progression this peripheral vision will be responsible for increasing the axial length of eye but some of the uh, companies they are producing uh, special type of lenses uh, my glass my vision glasses i i, I get the i got this uh, image from internet and what i found that they produce such type of lenses which has central clear vision central focused vision as well as peripheral myopic defocus we can see her peripheral hyperopic defocus but in this picture we see that peripheral myopic defocus and this peripheral myopic defocus is responsible for the control of myopia progression which does not allow to progress myopia in uncontrolled manner okay so uh, this is our normal glasses which we which uh, most uh, most of the practitioner or opticians they prescribe and this is the special type of lens having uh, my peripheral myopic defocus and what is uh, uh, in different study and another uh, 
mostly uh, uh, practiced. Uh, that means uh, this uh, practice, uh, this uh, uh, that uh, is under correction of under correction of my API. It is believed that if we under correct my API, that means uh, uh, if we under correct my API, that means uh, there is less uh, my API progression. Yeah, but it is found that under correction of my API is thought to reduce the accommodative effort or error lag. That means accommodative lag. It under correction of my API is thought to reduce the accommodative lag for near and which is the another reason for the control of my API progression and now two randomized clinical trial trial conducted to determine whether under correction of myopia refractive error slows the myopia progression reported different results what they found that the under correction of myopia by approximately that is if we under correct myopia by approximately 0 0.5 diopter did not significantly affect myopia progression in 6 to 15 years old myopic children that means one study has found that if we undercurrent myopia by 0.5 percent or more it has less significant in myopia progression control bifocal contact lenses we can use uh, many have used bifocal contact lenses to slow the progression of myopy and it is thought to work on the similar notion that the myopy progression can be slowed by inducing peripheral myopic defocus which slows the rate of axial elongation like same like in myo glasses my vision glasses soft bifocal contact lenses are of two types central distance and central near and we only use central distance contact lenses for my peer control and on average this type of contact lenses slows the my peer progression by 30 percent to 38 percent and axial length by 31 to 51 percent over the period of one month sorry over the period of one years about 30 to 38 percent of uh, uh, my peer progression can be controlled. That means if now let's talk about orthokeratology. How we use orthokeratology to prevent the axial length elongation. Okay, uh, let's talk about it. Orthokeratology, the peripheral refraction performed in children wearing orthokeratology confirmed that along with the reduction in the central myopic refraction a uh, conversion of relative peripheral hyperopic refraction to the relative peripheral myopic refraction is obtained to which from promoting the interest in using orthoke as a tool to control the myopic progression let's talk about here if we use these minus lenses what happens here? There still occurs hyperopic defocus, isn't it? This hyperopic defocus, it is the reason for the elongation of eye. But this is the structure of cornea after use of orthoche, overnight use of orthoche. We can see here central thinning and peripheral thickening of the cornea. What we see here, uh, this uh, what we see here is that this uh, this eye after ortho K treatment overnight, we we found that it has central clear vision. It has as well as peripheral myopic defocus, and peripheral myopic defocus is or is thought to be the uh, thought to be the possible factor for controlling myopia progression 
optically correct myopia by flattening the corneal center. Here we have flattened it central cornea resulting the relative peripheral myopic defocus and it has thin center thick periphery of cornea and this thick periphery of cornea produces myopic defocus and which helps for the myopia progression control now let's talk about some research which has done individual study and meta-analysis have shown that 40 to 60 percent reduction in the rate of myopia progression with ortho care lenses. That means 40 to 60 percent can be reduced by use of ortho care lenses. And however, now, however, the study have shown that the efficacy may decrease over the time, especially for four to five years, and a potential rebound is the main drawback of this ortho care. That is, it has the potential rebound after the discontinuation of ortho -key, especially if the child is under 14 years. That means if the child is under 14 years, it has more chance of rebound of myopia. Ortho -key, it, is still, uh, it has still risks of in, uh, infective keratitis, so we have to consider on that. Now let's talk the mostly uh, adapted, uh, that means uh, control, that means my peer control uh, method or is, and let's talk about atropine. This, this is uh, atropine. We are using this atropine in our uh, hospital also. We are, uh, we are recently uh, using atropine on different, cases to know to know the uh, to find out or the effect of myopia sorry effect of atropine in myopia uh, control myopia progression control atropine is a non-specific muscarine acetylcholine receptor antagonistic initially thought to work by blocking the accommodation before uh, uh, some years before two three years it was thought that this atropine it, uh, it works by stopping the accommodation or preventing the accommodation but this theory has been disproved in animal cases by animal by the study on animal cases accommodation has no role in the control of myopia in use of atropine so this accommodation has no role in atropine Its exact mechanism is still known. The exact mechanism of atropine is still not unknown, but it is thought to work through muscarinic or non-muscarinic pathway, either in retina or in proximal membrane. Atropine has strong dose-dependent inhibitory effect of myopia progression. Atropine, it is dose-dependent. The initial dose of atropine, that is 0.5% or 1.0% slowed the myopia progression by more than 70% over one, two years. However, the lower dose 0.1 or less percent atropine can slow a myopia by only 30 to 60% with fewer side effects. That means 0.5% and 0.1% is more effective for myopia progression and axial length reduction, whereas 0.1% uh, and 0.01% atropine, it is, uh, it also slows the myopia, but only by 30 to 60%. Now, I'll be talking about atom study, okay? Uh, atom, it means atropine in the treatment of myopia. Now, that we have atom one study and atom two study. What atom one study, they, pop, they do, yeah, uh, it's parallel uh, that it was conducted in Singapore in 2000, uh, 2006, yeah, and it included 400 children, which are from age group 6 to 12 years, with moderate myopia from minus 1 diopter to minus 6 diopter. Uh, this studies continued for 3 years. 
three years study, two years for the treatment period, that means the use of atropine, and remaining one year for wash out period. Now see the stopping the medicine and see the result of see the result or see the uh, whether the MyPI rebound or not. Okay, which is called wash out period. That means the treatment group, the children who are uh, used, who are uh, who are enrolled in this study, uh, what uh, what they do? Uh, that means uh, they put it uh, one percent of atropine at bedtime in one eye, and no treatment in other eye. For the two years. There was 77 percent reduction in the mean progression of myopia. That means, uh, in placebo group, placebo group. That means the person placebo group. You all know what do you mean a placebo group? The progression of myopia was minus 1.2 diopter, isn't it? But in the myopia group, that means atropinized group. The myopia was only minus 1.2 diopter. See, yeah, there was also a strong correlation with the reduction in axial length. Axial length was also significantly reduced in atropine group, and there were no severe adverse effect associated with atropine hydra. Yeah, and at three years, a significant rebound, and this was the drawback of this study. Yeah, at three years. A significant rebound was seen for both myopia progression and excellent illumination after the stop of atropine for one year. And later on, and later on another study was continued, which was named by Atom Two study, and it was it was conducted shortly after Atom One study. Now, what was the main aim of this study? The main aim of this study was to compare the efficacy of three doses. 0.5%, 0.1%, and 0.01%. Uh, here, 400 children were enrolled from age to 6 to 12 years, and my PR was in minus 2 diopter. Mm. Uh, here, both eyes were treated. This was five years, uh, this was a five year study that included. Two years of treatment, one years of washout period, and two years where the treatment was restarted in the student who continue to progress. These children were retreated with only one dose of atropine. The results showed a dose-related response with atropine and myopia progression, but the differences were clinically small. And what are the consolidating? What did we, what, what 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 we found? What we found from both atom one and atom two study? What are the concrete result of this of this study? Was that 0.01 percent atropine has similar efficacy compared to higher concentration of 0.1 and 0.5 percent atropine? The side effect. With atropine 0.01 percent were minimal compared to other two high concentration atropine and negligible effect on accommodation 0.01 percent atropine has no effect or almost no effect on accommodation and it has no effect on near work. During the washout period, the children in the 0.01% atropine group had minimal rebound. And this is another important uh, result. It was found on uh, this study is that it has minimal rebound than others. Now, in our, uh, in our practice, uh, in our hospital, we are using 0.01% uh, atropine. Yeah? Uh, we are studying, we have trialed uh, almost three or four cases in our uh, 
in our hospital and what how we uh, start atropine i have mentioned some points here i have some mention and atropine best protocol for myopia treatment these are the some protocols we follow in our uh, hospitals before starting atropine now first starting atropine what we do first of all we assess the risk of children and that means and we categorize them as high risk low and moderate isn't it and high risk children and in high risk children we what we what we say the family history of high myopia or myopic complications we see that we see uh, the child family history uh, we see uh, the age we see the documented documented uh, rapid progression of myopia we document how the progression of myopia how the myopia is increasing uh, and we uh, we assess the lifestyle profile that means how much they remain inside and how much time they remain outside and we assess all those uh, those uh, data and we uh, we also we also conduct that uh, uh, whether the child they are willing to participate in the treatment isn't it and we we just uh, we just uh, assure their parents about our resource and normally we are taking the child from age group uh, 4 to 13 years and who has myopia progression of uh, greater than 0 0.5 diopter than last year that means a child of this age groups and per year increase in the myopia greater than 0 0.5 diopter they are enrolled in our uh, uh, that this atropine uh, uh, that means uh, myopia progression control study study research and uh, if they are not uh, if if uh, the child who are not keen on treatment what we do we just monitor them on 6 to 12 months and who are keen who are interested on in treatment what we do we start atropine 0.01 percent daily for at least two years and and we, for two years we use atropine and how we uh, just look here daily yeah, for bedtime we use atropine for bedtime and follow up and treatment how we call them first uh, a child we review child uh, three months every th first we review child on three months after three months and from that we review the child every six months isn't it we monitor for compliance and side effect we see uh, near work like glares and allergy of that atropine and we perform an each visit we perform cyclopedic refraction and axial measurement uh, uh, at least once a year we perform this and uh, we we perform retinoscope in each visit and axial length and uh, axial length is uh, it is uh, usually performed by from uh, that means uh, that means uh, IL master we use IL master to record excellent and uh, what we uh, what we uh, get here yeah uh, in good or acceptable response to the treatment how can we know our treatment is good or uh, use of atropine is uh, uh, well responded by the child if the myopia progression is less than 0 0.5 diopter per year we assume that the response to the atropine by child is good or acceptable if the age is less than 12 years old what we do we consider continue the dose or slowly taper slowly decrease the dose if no myopia progression noticed in past last year that means 
uh, after daily we make them uh, that means uh, four times a week and uh, in that way progressively we reduce the dose and if the child is 12 years old and there is a good acceptance of atropine that means uh, consider the taper of med medication if no or little progression noted in uh, pasture we can do same way like both how can we know the atropine is poorly responsed by the child how can we uh, know that means if the if the progression of my PR is same or greater than 0 0.5 diopter per year then we can assume that the uh, the response of atropine is poor so particularly in younger children who is less than nine years with strong family history we have high myopia with baseline high myopia and rapid progression prior to this starting atropine what we have to do, what we can do consider the increased dose that means atropine 0.01 percent twice per day we can increase the dose of atropine or 0.1 percent daily we can use this atropine increasing the concentration of atropine or one percent of atropine two to three times per week per week uh, one percent of atropine two to three times per week we can use we can consider the tinted glass with near aid if required once stabilization of my IPA is achieved continue that dose and taper frequency of drop as the child reaches the teenage years and how can uh, we conclude that the atropine uh, uh, the response of atropine is poor despite maximizing the atropine dose what we can do we do we consider stopping and changing or adding the different treatment option and and last a long term follow up continue to monitor children for at least one year after stopping the treatment and another one is pirates pirates in two percent of this is also uh, this is also widely used in uh, foreign countries for my peer control yeah pyrazine is one is an M1 uh, specific muscarinic receptor antagonistic. M1 receptors are highly concentrated in retina and found rarely on the ciliary body or iris. So they cause fewer cyclopegic and medriatic related symptoms. The actual site of action where pyrazepine has its effect has not been determined. But several studies suggest that it may act in the sclera that means it may it increases the size of sclera and which lowers uh, the uh, lowers the uh, elongation of eyeball or decrease the axial length of the eye uh, pyrazepine is found is of uh, in the form of two percent ophthalmic gel twice a day was shown to reduce the myopia progression by 77% and 51% respectively. The main side effect resulting from ointment in the preparation of pyrazepine are asymptom, uh, asymptomatic papillary conjunctivitis, it causes photophobia, it causes blurring while reading and another main uh, disadvantage is that it is expensive also. And there are some traditional Chinese innovation uh, like Chinese eye exercise, acupuncture, Zigong ocular exercise, electrophotomagneto stimulations therapy, eye massage, they are used in China. And uh, that means a pilot study performed on various Chinese eye exercise in 17 study does not show any effect on accommodative response and myopia control. So it has less scientific support. And these are the summary of my presentation. Uh, here are techniques, different techniques, uh, their effectiveness, their safety use, and accessibility. Time outdoors, time is spent outdoors, 
now it decreased the onset of myopia by 30 percent and progression of myopia by 18 percent look carefully onset of myopia by 30 percent and progression of myopia by 18 percent and it is safe yeah and it, it can be available to all and executive bifocal spectacle decrease myopia progression by 19 percent to 51 percent with basin prism incorporated uh, and it is also safe it results from visual distortion it's moderately uh, expensive and must must not readily available progressive additional lens spectacles it decreased the myopia progression by 0 to 20 percent bifocal or dual focal soft contact lenses it decreased the myopia progression by 30 to 38 percent over 24 months and it has possible risks are infective keratitis contact lens intoleration intolerance and it is moderately next it is moderately expensive and last orthoperatology lenses it, its effectiveness it reduce my pia by 40 to 50 percent over one to two years and rebound noted if suddenly stopped risk factor same as contact lenses and accessibility it is quite expensive and required required clinical expertise to ensure the proper fit and last atropine 70 to 80 percent reduction with high dose atropine and 30 to 60 percent reduction with low dose atropine it rebounds suddenly if stopped and it has some safety uh, safety measures we can follow like like glare and near blur with high higher doses uh, atropine and higher dose and like it can cost effective and now i think this is my last and these are my references and i like to thank everybody uh, who have participated this presentation and stay home stay safe and stay healthy thank you uh, look almost done hello yes. uh, hello uh, yes here is one question uh, from rodi okay uh, can you read this yeah yeah just tell me in uh chat box he's asking for uh the regarding the bifocal uh, progressive lens and contact lenses uh, what is the additional power is for guidelines so what should be your guidelines uh, additional power for guidelines while he using the progressive or uh, bifocal lens mm -hmm. Guideline, yeah, guideline, one near that is to China, but uh, uh, three diopter one that's really come around two. Yeah, guideline is based on such a guideline, China. Actually, my different resources here that he is a key pack of soup on that he less than three diopter. Most of the cases, two to two point five diopters say use good it as. Okay. 2 to 2.5 diopter addition common. Ajudai. Okay, it is actually the only process like him on the penny. So, that is addition only the renewing the 2 to 2.5 one. I go another. Ah, it's so very top. I go, but you also put you accommodative lag lights, hyperific defocus lights, you eliminate gorna, hyperific defocus light eliminate gorna. My defocus one on you, I know. Yeah, Cassio peripheral vision clear on the penny, peripheral, say my big defocus one on the cigarette or has a my big peripheral peripheral matching my big defocus. Call you when it's a key on the reserve on the easy. 
हमरो सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम अथवा हमरो विजुअल फीडबैक मेकैनिज्म ले ची बड़ी रेस्पोंसिव होंडो रही सा एक्सेलेंट इलंगेशन में आची डेट्स वाई ची अब यू इज लाइक यू बने रची सही ना ओके देर इज अनदर कैंडिडेट अनंत पोगेल यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन अनंत मेरा यू क्या रे विटामिन डी में कोई क्वेरी आ विटामिन डी ओ विटामिन डी क्यों बंद सा बंदा खेली जी यो तो इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर में पड़ी हुआ है ना जो मैंने सी जी अब लेस इन्वायरमेंट में एक्सपोज़ होंगे ना इंडोर मात्रे बॉडी इनरोल होंगे सा मैंने जी तो उसे पोटेंशियल रिक्स माचे पड़ सके पनेरा बनी रहा है Okay, very effective one, Kamal Bhai. Excuse me. Yes, yes, please, Ananta. Excuse me. Yes, yes, please. Yes, yes. My name is Shyam. 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 My एक्चुअली यो बने को तो ये जहाँ अमरमा पनी आऊँ सही हो सब पे को मामा ने कोई सुनते ही ये हो यो ले बनी रहा हूँ सब कोई लिस्ट में बोर्ड सा इसको प्रोग्रेशन है ना अजर प्रोग्रेशन रेट को पनी कुरा करी रहा हूँ सब उधर ले अजर पहली का बंदा आई ले को प्रोग्रेशन से अलग बॉडी बनी रहा सब बनी रहा हूँ सब है ना अब एक्चुअली बंदा की लेता अब इसको कोई लिस्ट में बॉर्ड सा बने रहा कॉस्ट टाइप को ये पैथोलॉजिकल नहीं होना सकता अब नॉर्मली बने को तो रिसर्च है जैसे क्या बंद सा बंदा की लिस्ट आह इधर नॉर्मल टाइप ऑफ हो बने हैं ना नॉर्मल टाइप ऑफ हो बंद से तब ये को 15 इयर्स पौष्टिक से इसको प्रोग्रेशन रेट से कम होने पर सा बंद सा अजय यो मुझे पढ़े उन सारे से जस्ट एक्सेल लेंथ हो क्योंकि इसमें जो उसी इंग्लिश जब जब ये बोर्ड दे जान सा एक्सेल लेंथ हो जैसे प्राय सो माइपिया बोलने जान से बोर्डिंग तो ये नू बाय बन जाए जैसे ही कौन है कौन बेचारा पाय सोचा है धीरे खा धीरे माय पी कौन है नहीं पूरी सी बोल रहे हैं स्टेशन आ रही है ये एक्सेल हाल को बाय बन जाए विथ इंग्लिश ऑफ एज मेरे बहुत ज़्यादा हेड जब पावर बनी बोनी वहाँ जाए ऑलवेज तू क्यों नहीं एक्सेल इन पे नाप नहीं सर मेन कुल आता क्या था उन्होंने पर ये बंदा के लिए जैसे कौन सा टाइप ऑफ माइपिया एक्सियल टाइप होगी रिफ्रैक्टिव टाइप है त्यों दो इटे था वैसे ऐसे हमने ट्रीट करना था सौ जिलों में चला आई थिंक पर्वेशरल अथवा डेट मींस रिफ्रैक्टिव टाइप होगी एक्सियल टाइप हो सो गैस मालिक वाला यो फोटो अरे वेरी सिंपल तो रा एक्चुअली ये नहीं है सोलो का आंसर है या जो मोस्टली सोलो है यार ये तो एक तो क्वेश्चन कॉमल यू कैन सी इन चैट बॉक्स द स्वीडर आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन आई वाट व्हाट आर द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन अवेलेबल फॉर माय बीए कैन यू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्लास पेस्किशन फॉर स्� Available is wearing a glass. Nepal context mein nahi bani ta wearing a glass maniyo. Ani plus worldwide ni aile practice mein aagu se atropine ko use mani bani raha sa. Nepal Nepal dosto country mein ta I think. ग्लासी हो लाता रो बाइक फोकल मल्टी फोकल पन तीस तो सारे इफेक्ट इतना कमाल जी इसमें लगता है ऐड कर रहे हैं क्या रे कॉस्ट होने वाला है मोस्टली तो अब हम ले नेपाल को पास सेक्टर में ऐड है तो हम ले रिफ्लेक्शन है हम ले कॉस्ट परी कॉस्ट के इफेक्टिव है ना गौरसम मंडी पूरा क्या हम ले कॉलेज जाना लेते हैं रिफ्लेक्शन 
मेन क्वेश्चन क्या हो कि हम अगले मायापिक ब्लर हाइपरपिक ब्ल ब्लर को हमें रिफ्लैक्स नहीं मिनीम माइनस हम कसरी प्रिस्क्राइब कर सकता डुअक्रम टेस्ट हो कमिंग टेक्निक कति को इफेक्टिवली क्योंकि माइनस ओवर करेक्शन करने बितिक हम इसमें हाइपरपिक ब्लर तेरह जाना कमाऊँ जी सकने There is one question, uh, Monisa uh, Gautam Kupujan say, what about the pathological myopia? Pathological myopia, अब pathological myopia तो अब त्यो उता उता और कुछ तीर गया लो अब तेरे को लाइक इधर अब pathological myopia तो अब retinas तीर गया यो है ना अब तेरे vitrectomy एक और कुराऊँ सो और वाले कुराऊँ सो त्यो तो हम लोग पोर्स में पढ़े ना डिस्टेंस ब्लर घटे <laughs> प्रैक्टिस अपटिकल से पेरिफेरियल ब्लर तो अप्टिकल सेंटर मैच भेन एडिटिव भाई बढ़ी को मैं एक दुवट आर्टिकल पढ़ा खेल तो है जहां रिसोर्स जस्ते कंसिडर कर मैपिया में माइनस तब को जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो एबोब लाइन ही तो अभी तो भाई माथि को टू पॉइंट फाइव लाइन तीत सा इनपुट कर नेपाल 
Oke. Okay, uh... Uh, Sridhar, do you have any question? Answer one. It is region six nine so I know. Okay. Ah, that was six six parts. Ah, ni ulai zero point two five dida kiri ke relief bayo ul essay bigario subjective response ramro ayo one. This ma has a ni time si yu gorde na. We prescribe. This ma ni the the saro yu pani gorde ni zero point two five. We normally prescribe. यदि यदि माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो अथवा त्यों बंदा बॉडी छा बने जाए हम लेजी जिससे बाइनी को थोड़ा बैलेंसिंग देखने ले रहा सेंटर ऑप्टिकल सेंटर तो जब वाली जून बंदा ऐसा नहीं जो क्रम टेस्ट है रो देखने ले रहा तो इस तो सभी को रहे हुए जाए हम ले कंसीडर कर सो रहा हम लेजी ऑ अब क्यों ना हमले अब पेरिफेरल डिफोकस हीरो जिस तरह की मैं देख पूरा करें नहीं आ जिस तो जायज रे लिया सब तो एक्सपेंसिव लेंसेस हीरो ओके जिस तरह हम लोग नेपाली ले अफोर्ड करना साक देना अन्य कौन सा योजन हम लोग एट्रिपिन जरूर पिन जरूर वन परसेंट पिन चाहे मैं आपसे बनाम समझी आई ना आई ना आई ना � और लेबिके एनपी मंजे है ना एनपी आज़रा एनपी एनपी आई कंसंट्रेशन बाय और वो क्या मंजे सारे और ड्रॉपिंग अगर और ड्रॉपिंग आह और तेरी सत्य से यूज़ कर सुना है आह कौन भाई वाला क्वेश्चन सही है जे आह चौदह मौत को आह आई वांट टू नो इस देर एनी पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट ऑफ़ टेस्ट इंक्रीज़न दैट शुड बी इंक्रीज is it being uh, practiced in our country any proper uh, way of prescribing it? No, it is high now. It's, it's unfortunate. Unfortunately, this go gay criteria is it like it is never in China. Actually, you could say cost of one like Malaysia common like you. So, cost of something to say, I might be a good uh, my big passion of my thing. Just or did they have the price to say. डिसेंटर बोले थे आई पी के नॉमिनेशन माय पी आर जिंग इंग्लिश बोले आउट जा गया है ना तो हम लेते हैं आई पी डी ये लेते हैं ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ना पीपी सेंटर से मैच बोलो पर्सन वाला इन्हें इसमें आ पर्सन इतने यो खास बेसिन प्रिज्म बने रहा सा है ना यो पनी खास की बने को बंदा के लिए यो इसमें आह डिफरेंट आह ऑटो रिफ्लेक्शन ऑटो रिफ्लेक्टोमीटर ले ले गौर सके आह जस्ट एम्बली गौर ने बने तो सेंट्रल रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन मात्री हो है ना डिफरेंट ऑटो रिफ्लेक्टो ऑटो रिफ्लेक्टोमीटर जैसे पेरिफेरल रिफ्लेक्शन पर नहीं गौर सा अब आई थिंक जो चीज़ आप गत ये लाइक सुरी है ना सा� पर मायले बैठा के लिए तो कती पावर मांसी कती प्रिज्म रखने कती मायपी पावर मांसी इति प्रिज्म रखने वाले तीस तो गाइडलाइंस ही मायले सी यो कर दे खेल से पाक होती ना मायले पन यो एक्चुअली कोई सुन ऐडी रहा थी जस्ट माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर इंदर लाइक कती कती प्रिज्म से तीस तो कई साकी बने रहता है ये एक्सेक्ट रान हमरो हमरो कंट्री हमरो कंट्री को सिनेरियो हमरो कंट्री में अच्छे यो अलग अति माइपिया कंट्रोल को लागी थी इट्स इफेक्टिव लीजे यूज करेंगे इसे मैं देख पाते समय आह हम तो बायो के क्वेश्चन हो लो अनंता मैं मैं क्यों सही कह रहा हूँ अनंता को आ मैं लो अनंता वाले आ अनंता बोलो स्टा आज तीस तो छाईना है लेकिन क्वेश्चन आज या एंट्राइज देश तेरे को आस ओके छाईना देश तो क्वेश्चन ना ओके सुधर आगे आगे गरीब सही है ना ओके 
Hello, Kamal. Kamal sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, the algae could you prescribe sir? Now, the prism or like any question? Ah, yes, sir. Ah, actually, actually, Chandan sir, let's talk about that. So, what do like a key come out of this? Like, what are the key explanations in this question? Okay. Question. Question. Okay. Sonda, can you elaborate it? There is another question uh, I will give for you. So, uh, uh, what is the choice for uh, what is the choice of treatment in my pair patent having the poor compliance with the spectacles? No common. Is there? Okay, there is a question. Yeah. I'm... yeah. Uh, okay, what is the choice treatment for? Uh, say, do the regular chasma or lie like it's not compliance, ramos, you know, you know, obviously, like it's a chasma, not like it's not important to you. Okay, so you can see chasma, no, like or clown, you know, and if I'll go senior, you might not. So I eat this because it's finer. In a key or the gay or lenses, the funny is your compliances not done in the final very cost or aspect down so I know. So by book or book to talk my one, it was a very, very important or a patient allowing it for the best my excuse for the room. And I can agree, Dotty Bunny therapy go option is so how do you have to be clear? I have to be there. I've got them to have to eat glasses to crown the so yes, my glasses they avoid go or you option could not be a jam later to the lag me when you know that you say go lot they will. कंट्रोलिटी <laughs> रेगुलर टाइम दिन न सके लंच ब्रेक में एकदम मैं हे मैं एकदम खुशी लगे हाई थैंक यू भाई अब बाइने प्रिजम जो वहाँ डिस्कस कर इनकर्परेट कर ग्रेडिंग अफ मै क्या लाइफ कति एमाउंट ले कसरी करने के बारे में कि स्टैंडर्ड मोडालिटी ट्रिटमेंट खोजेक्टिंग Bi-nasal, actually myopia control. This bi. Okay. Uh, possibly that sir. Uh, is called bi-nasal patching controlling for myopia. Are you patient therapy like it? Yeah, say isotropia. Like you say, prior to IXT or like. No, isotropia. Go initial condition. Say bi-nasal patching. Go initial condition. Say bi-nasal patching. Go initial condition. 
I know how it used for my attack control. Chandan Dai, what is your name? My name is Pat Infinity. I am a peripheral hypertrophic defocus. I am a peripheral hypertrophic defocus. You can use the options in my application. You can use the amount of the standard application. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to वहाँ लगी इसके बारे में आधे डिटेल लिखा है और उसका कौन सा कि क्यों ओके आ कॉमल क्या प्रेजेंटेशन कौन भी करूँ तो इन सॉफ्टवेयर आ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑलमोस्ट थैंक यू सो मच तब ले आरोग्य और नुवा डेडिकेशन दिन हुआ इतनी पीड़ने से मौन ही पीड़ने सोमे लगता देर तुम्हारे बात से थैंक यू सो मच तो अनंत नाइ जो जो इन कॉर्डेड कॉर्ड मोड़ा रोजी सोमे लाइ लोग कॉपी नहीं भी नहीं बोल रहे हैं ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे तुम्हारे और आपको मिल जाएगी ना तेरे अंदर सपोर्ट से रहने का आई कॉपी थैंक यू सो मच ओके